What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Well, today, let's just start towing. That's it, that's what we're gonna do. You saw that thumbnail, so I wanna see how this thing tows. Well, because we're on the way to the desert, so I might as well do a vlog about how it tows the first time being lifted. If it's gonna be rough, if it's gonna be smoother, I would assume this thing's going to ride like a Cadillac. I'm hoping it is, but, uh, well, let's see. First thing first, we gotta warm this bad girl up. Oh, diesel preheat in progress. Please wait. Waiting, 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 waiting. Now what? Push it again, okay. Bam! All right guys, we're in, we're towing now, and I gotta say, I mean, right off the bat, I can already tell this thing is smoother. It is insane. Uh, for you guys that have had lift kits and said, you know, Eddie, I lifted my truck, it rides like crap. I, I maybe, you know, I don't know. I can't tell you why, but, and I've heard from people that Carly is more of, yeah, it's a lift, but it's they focus more on also the ride. And I gotta say, this thing, the ride is incredible uh, in this right now. I haven't hit the freeway, but I can already tell just, I used to be like bouncing, all these little bounces right here. This thing's not moving. I, I gotta say, right now I'm very, very impressed with this ride. But uh, we have not hit the freeway yet, so I'll let you know. Also, for the tires, uh, you guys asking if I'm going to re-gear. As of right now, everything uh, seems good, but again, we have not hit the freeway yet, so I will give you more info once we hit this freeway. Oh, I gotta say, guys, uh, we're climbing these hills, cruising. I mean, I'm fifth gear, 70 miles an hour. I'm not really, you know, I'm probably 50% in the throttle. Uh, and it's happy. I mean, it's good. I don't now. I mean, this is not the true test. The true test will be when I'm coming back from the desert and heading up the grades. I know what it can pull uh, up those grades. Right now, though, I mean, this is it's going good. It's in I'm still fifth gear coming up this hill, 70 miles an hour, like nothing. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we're going to uh, have to re-gear. I'm very, very impressed with this thing. It is pulling amazing right now. And the ride, yes, guys. I mean, this ride is 10 times smoother than when this thing was stock. I mean, you don't feel any of the little bumps anymore. They are like, they just, it soaks it right up. Okay, so up the steep hill, I noticed it did downshift. So, so usually it would be at fifth at 1800 rpms but i noticed that it downshifted in fourth because it was in uh fifth at 1600 so i i don't know i i know that it knows there are some bigger tires on there uh but i i don't know if like i said i'm getting to some steeper hills so we're gonna see what the truck does right now currently it's in fourth right now 65 and but my foot is barely on the throttle most likely because I'm at 2400 but I don't know let's see if it can go into fifth yeah so it does not want to go into fifth so I, I don't know guys it's going to be uh it's gonna be tricky I don't know I might re-gear I might not we're gonna have to just tow with it some more and see also another thing I forgot to uh, mention guys is I have this in um, number two, the stage two right now in the uh, CSP5 switch. So what I will try to do, there's another hill coming up right here. I'm gonna put it in three and go from there, you know, see uh, what it does up this steeper hill. Also what I've noticed is this thing does not roll freely at all no more. So downhill this thing used to roll. Now with these tires, I would assume it's the tires, uh, it's it, it, it's it slows it down you know it does not uh, it doesn't roll freely that's what it feels like but again if you're buying this truck to get you know good gas mileage guys uh, you know I probably bought the wrong truck all right guys so holy moly I just put this thing in uh, stage three and I'm going up all these hills in six gears 70 miles an hour uh, like it's nothing temperatures everything's good readings are good exhaust pressure is good uh, Fuel rail pressure is good. Everything's good. So I think I'm gonna just keep this thing at number three when I tow, because uh, it's like a whole another animal, a whole another beast when I put it when I uh, switch this thing into the stage three. What I really like, guys, is how like how stable this thing feels now on the road. So before, 
like when now I'm not saying wind and it was like I was going back and forth it was bad but you can tell you know that when you if you do hit a little little bump or the road you know turns or something you you'd feel the truck this thing now I, because of the wider tires is just so solid like you don't really you don't feel anything I mean it's I, it's hard to explain guys you got to drive it it's incredible the ride and the handling and everything right now of you know just the drive on this thing even while towing all right guys so now we're coming down the mountain this is when I would turn my exhaust brake on full well because my foot's completely off and it's slowing me down I don't have to touch the brake but when we come back from the desert this is the mountain that we will be going back up so this is the big boy right here anybody that uh, lives in San Diego and goes to this to, to the desert uh, knows that this is the mountain right here that everybody has a hard time going up truckers motorhomes uh, you know people start overheating it's a it's a steep hill and I believe it's a six percent grade and yeah here it is it's a six percent and it's six percent from the bottom all the way to the top and I believe from the bottom to the top I want to say I think it's 10 or 11 miles long all right guys I just remembered one thing when I was telling you speed so this thing now is off I want to say about six seven miles per hour so if it says I'm doing 70 that I'm really doing you know 75 76 until I can find somebody to reprogram this thing for 37s I have not found anybody that has the product or can do it so if there's anybody out there uh, let me know well guys uh, it's been about an hour and 45 minutes and I gotta say I am extremely extremely happy with the ride the drive the comfortability of this truck the handling you know if you guys out there um, are thinking about it yeah trust me it's sold for sure you will be extremely extremely happy with this but now we are almost here at the desert so we got to get ready to start this desert vlog 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 for you guys and uh, but I don't think the um, alkylator and Big Lou are here yet uh, so we're gonna be a little hungry until they get here start whooping up that barbecue that smoker and get everything ready all right guys here's our exit we have arrived and if you're wondering on fuel so I got here with a little over a half a tank so it did use a little more fuel with these 37s uh, and also you know I wasn't really sure the average speed because you keep going to, to add five or six or seven it would change depending on how fast I was going uh, but it looked like it did use a little more fuel usually so what I do is I'll go unhook and then go right up here uh, to Sidewinder and fill up some uh, diesel and it's usually it will take about 15 gallons so when we get there I'll, I'll unhook go fill up and see how many uh, gallons this thing is gonna take but I can tell you now it did use a little more fuel uh, than when we had these stock tires on it all right guys so we have just arrived here in the desert I gotta say so you know after driving this like I said I don't know the exact thing I want to do if I want to re-gear it or not because I have not gone up the grades yet but I will say it did pull good also I, I need to figure out a way to get this thing where it says the proper speedometer because as you know it's I want to say it's off by like six seven miles an hour so I don't know uh, but as of right now currently it does not need to be re-geared yet but I'm not gonna say yes no for sure because I have not gone up the grades yet and you know we'll, we'll go from there I will say that I will not if I re-gear I will not put four tens because I did drive Lewis's truck and Lewis's truck the problem with his truck is great for towing but when driving just regular on the freeway that thing at like 70 mile an hour is like at 2100 rpms it's crazy this thing I like it right now because I mean I can cruise 70 miles an hour at 15 you know six I think it was at 1500 rpms at 70 miles an hour with this truck but uh, overall it, it towed great it handled amazing I gotta say because uh, the tires how much wider I went I would highly highly recommend you guys a lot of you guys told me why did you pick the 1350 instead of the 1250 uh, number one mainly because I've seen the 1250s and they just don't look right on on this setup it looks like it's too skinny but also why I went with the 1350s is because it's wider you got more track on the ground now will you notice a difference from 1250 to 1350 I don't know but I will say putting these wider tires on this thing drove a hell hell of a lot better than it was when it was bone stock 
But we have arrived. We got JoJo's rig over here, his Dodge over there. We got Big Norm over there, Mike, and uh, Big Blue and the Accolator have not showed up yet. They should be here very shortly. They're probably on the way, but we'll uh, deal with that later. Well, guys, we got everybody has arrived. Accolator is just right, 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 right here. I think he's probably gonna unhook. Big Lou has arrived over there. I think that's it. We got a small group uh, this trip. Not not that many people. Let me know if any of you guys out there that do have the Carly system, if you agree with me. I'm curious to know. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. That's all I got for you guys. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.